Look how goddamn dirty my car is. And then <coughs> been spotted. Hi there, mate. So we're currently at Waitrose. As you can tell, it's really dark, um, and I haven't vlogged all day, which is um, awful. which is absolutely awful of me. It's no, it's not. It's not really that awful. Oh, ho, 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 that is a nice piece of kit. It's not really that awful of me. It's just I've had a really boring day, and I don't want to show you guys boring stuff. But now we're at Waitrose, and Jed's being a mentalist, so things are starting to perk up a bit. It's so bad that everyone is just staring at you because you've got a fucking skateboard and a snapback on. Thing yeah, exactly. Like that is that yeah, is the world am. nowadays. Isn't definitely it? gonna steal something. That is just the world nowadays. Everyone's just staring at you, mate. Yeah, put your hood on. <laughs> Jed needed some help on what he wanted to get. Here we go. Awesome. Oh, it's only a, it's only a small you. little part. Look at that. Yeah. See you in a bit, mate. See you, mate. Bye. Oh. <laughs> so, ugh. Jed has now gone home and. He has been at mine all day because we've been editing videos for TechFlow. We've got a Christmas special coming uh, for TechFlow, which will be really cool. So we're going to release a video on TechFlow on Christmas Day, which should be absolutely awesome. Now, I just want to go ahead and apologise for the stabilisation that YouTube has been putting on my videos recently. I'm not sure what's happened. I've been turning this feature off on every video I upload because I know that it's like a really bad thing when YouTube trying to stabilise the footage because it makes it look awful. Uh, but I've been turning it off so it doesn't do it, but it still does it anyway. It just doesn't listen to me. So I've deleted the application uh, and I've re-downloaded it. So I'm hoping that now, when I tell it to not stabilise it, It'll do as it's told. I'm videoing you. I'm not going to say what I was going to say then. What were you going to say? <laughs> turn around. No. Yeah, turn around, Maria. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> guys. What is going on? I've pretty much just got back from Maria's house. Maria is a friend uh, of mine. And I've just got back. The time is currently 10 to 12. So we've got 10 minutes to record the rest of this video. Okay, we've got 10 minutes to do it. And I've got probably the most exciting 10 minutes or probably the most requested 10 minutes of footage you guys have asked for. And that is a run through of me sitting here talking to you guys about these mad things. So that's exactly what we're gonna do in the last 10 minutes of this day before it hits tomorrow and I need to start up a new vlog, uh, which I'm, 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 so, I'm so happy that we've been been able to do this, do this thing every single day. Uh, I'm, I'm really sort of happy with myself that I've been able to sort of pick up a camera every day, um, and and you know and do this, do this thing. Um, I a lot of you guys don't know this, but you know it's it's, it's late, so we can talk about this sort of stuff. Um, and actually, no, I, I'll I'll be honest with you guys. I've been uh, with uh, with with Maria, and like we we chat about stuff all the time. Um, and she's I don't know, she sort of like opened my eyes a little bit earlier, and. Um, yeah, we we had a little bit of a DMC, a deep, meaningful conversation and stuff, and it was it was all going well. And uh, I was in the car on the way back, and I was just thinking, like personally, I find doing YouTube videos like quite difficult. Not that not that the, not about like the time that they take me to do, or the or the editing that, that you know, or the the editing that it you know the time that it takes me to edit these videos. That's not a concern because I love picking up a camera. I, love, I can't speak. I love picking up a camera. I love uh, I love making these videos for you guys and. I really appreciate that you guys stick around and watch them. Like I would feel a little bit dead inside if you guys were to like I, I don't know leave or anything. I just wanted I, I'm just trying to talk to you guys, yeah. Because and we'll get to these in a sec. Just give me a sec. I uh, just want you guys to know some stuff, right? But 2015 has been the best year of my life so far, and that is thanks to none other than you guys, the people that have clicked on this video. Even if you're new around here, like you are still contributing to that. Every single person that's ever clicked on one of my videos, even if they haven't subscribed, even if they've just watched them, it's made my year. It honestly has. And I just, I thank you guys so much. And I find this really difficult because I'm, I'm, I'm a really shy person. 
and I know this, doing this YouTube thing, people, pe the people that can pick up a camera and film themselves, it seems really self-centered and it's like, oh, he can pick up a camera and put himself on the internet. He finds himself so fucking interesting and everybody, he thinks everyone loves him. And that it just isn't the case with me. Like I try to, I do this thing to give people advice. I do this thing to make people smile. I do this thing to share my experiences. It's like a backup of my life on the internet, which is absolutely awesome for like generations to come in my family. Uh, if anything ever happens like that, I have kids or whatever and they want to see what I got up to when I was sort of 18 years old, then it's all there for them. Um, but yeah, let's move on. Uh, these are the swagways. I'm just checking how we've been caught. I did that for two minutes. I'm sorry, guys. I just wanted to, I just wanted to have a conversation with you guys. But let's move on. So these are the devices down here. Now, I just want to say, get something off my chest real quick. I'm going to be really quick saying this, right? Swagways. Fucking balance boards. Fucking swag... swag Seg segways, whatever you want to call it, you call it that. I'm going to call it a swagway. It's because that's what I've always called them. It's what the sidemen call them. It's what the people in my friendship group call them. They're called swagways. I work for a company called Balance Boards, right? I should technically call them Balance Boards. I don't call them that. I call them swagways because that is just what's been drilled into my head. It's like my YouTube intro, right? So, hey, guys, it's drilled into my head. If you guys don't want to call it a swagway, just replace the word swagway with whatever I say. Yeah, replace it with your own word, replace it with swag, whatever you want to call it, yeah, whatever you want to call it. I, don't, I just don't want to see another comment that says, it's not called a segway. I don't give a shit. I just really don't. It's not called a segway either, because segways are a proper patented company. These aren't segways. Okay? They're not. They're something else. I don't know what they are. They're a Chinese-made board. You call them what you want, okay? But let's move on with this. I'm going to take you guys through all of them and go through all of their features and stuff. So this is the first one. This is the one that I've had from the get-go, and this it was sent to me by a company called Balance Boards. Now, I just want to say again, I have been sent all four of these free of charge, but, there's a but, I haven't been paid by any of these companies to, um, to, to say anything specific about these, to boast about them, to, do, to, you know, to, to sell products. I have been sent these products, they've sent me an email saying, we're going to send you a swagway if you would like that and you can use it in your videos if you'd like. So I was like, yeah, of course, I'll use them in my videos, and you know what, if, if, you know, if I like the product, I'll put a link in the description. I'm not being paid for any of this, just to let, that, just to let you guys know. I get a lot of comments saying, Alex, you spend ridiculous amounts of money, you fucking bastard, on, on, on swagways. What the hell are you, you know what I mean? And I'm just like, I haven't, half of the stuff in here is, is, all, is all sponsored, all this is spot. I haven't bought any of this. I haven't bought any, my whole computer in here, this was all a sponsorship. Like, I don't get paid to, I don't do deals where I like, I don't do deals where I pay to say anything. I do it to like, um, to like make videos on and stuff. So it's, I don't get paid to do anything. Right, on with this. So, this is number one. This is the balance board here, and this has been with me from the get-go. I've spray painted this, it's been through a lot, and it still goes. It still goes. I've done a modification where, if you stand on it, look, the lights come on, not on the front, they come underneath it on, and do like a little on the side, if that makes sense. Um... It's covered in duct tape, I don't know why, but this is just your bog standard swagway, uh, which you just move around on, and these are the ones that kicked it all off, the massive craze, which is crazy to think that, you know, this thing has been through a lot, like I've taken this to events, it's been through a lot. I've done even done burnouts on it in the bathroom, I don't know if you guys are able to see on the floor, I've absolutely destroyed it here. I do burnouts with the swagways on the floor, and um, it just, it's, you know, <laughs> ruining my floor there, but it's fun. So that is the swagway, the bog standard swagway. I'll put a link to her in the description. Now this is the same thing as this, but an off-road version, and it's actually got pumped up tires, and you can actually pump the tires up and let air out of them, which is absolutely awesome. And it also has a key. I'll show you what that does in a second. So let me just bring this one out, out here a little bit and show you guys. This is, uh, in my opinion, built better than this. And it's got like a carbon fiber finish on it, which is absolutely uh, awesome. And the on switch is right on the bottom, which is a bit annoying as well as the charger. But you press that, it turns on. Choose device is ready to pair. I don't know if you guys heard that, but it actually has Bluetooth in it. So if I get my phone here and um, try and connect it up while I'm doing that, I will just tell you what this little remote does. So pretty much what this does is you can lock it so it doesn't work. Yeah, you can unlock it and now it will work. And you can also press that button and it will make it make a beeping sound so you can locate it. That's pretty much all that does. And then what I'm going to do is try and connect my phone to it right now. Is connected successfully. So as you can see there, it said the Bluetooth device is connected successfully. I can then launch music on my phone and press play. And as you can hear, 
it's coming out the bottom of the swagway, you can ride it and it plays music. There's also lights on either side of this thing, which is uh, really cool. So that is that is pretty much this one, and it plays music, it's really cool. And then you turn it off on the bottom, and then it's off, and that is, that is pretty much that. And let me tell you now, it is really good off-road. It is actually really good. It's much better than this one. Like, you can do so much more on that than you can on this, but it's so much bigger. So that is that. I'll drop a link to her in the description. Now, this is my most hated one out of them all. And I'm not saying I hate the products. I hate it because I can't ride it. I'm just retarded in my head, and I just cannot understand it. I just, I just <laughs> can't, can't get my head around it for the life of me. But pretty much what this thing is, is it's a one-wheel device with a button on it, and that's your battery indicator there. And as you can see, it has these foot pads. So what you do is you push these foot pads down, like so, and then you place your one foot on one side, one foot on the other, and it's like a unicycle. Now, my, my friend Jed can ride this thing, like, insanely well. I'm only just starting to get the grip of it, and it's, it's like my, it's my thing, it's not even his. He, he comes around and he can ride it really well. I just can't. I'm just crap at it. So that, that is that. That's called the Mono Rover. Now this, this is what you guys are waiting for. This is the Nine Bot. Now, this is going to be an explanation of what this thing is. I'm going to try my best to go through all its features. So, it's absolutely awesome. It just looks like something out of the future. It just does. And the thing is, this, I wouldn't say this is banned. Here in the, here in the UK, the Swegway things, these things are banned. This isn't classed as one of those, I don't think. I think this is something a little bit more special. So, what we're going to do is we're going to press this button and turn it on, right? And I'm going to, I'm going to lean it to the side, actually, for a second. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to lean it on its back, right? And I'm going to turn it on. So as you can see, it gives us a battery indicator and a Bluetooth flashing icon. What I'm going to do is get my phone in a minute and connect it. But let me try and show you its auto-stabilizing feature. So I'm just going to lift this up here like this. Ready? Right, there you go. Auto-stabilizes itself and then it stays up in that position, baby. <laughs> and then um, pretty much what you do is you push it forward and it'll go one way. Push it backward, it'll go the other way. And it has LEDs in the back, colour-changing LEDs. Pretty much what you do is you stand on it like this, go forward, Go back by leaning, same as a normal swagway. But the only difference is to turn, you actually move this thing in the middle. So you have to have your, uh, your legs tight to it and move it side to side like that, if that makes sense. So you move it side to side and it has some really bright LEDs in the front of it, which are really cool. And they're actually uh, sensitive LEDs. So if it's bright outside, these LEDs won't be on. And if it's dark, they'll come on on their own. They're automatic, which is absolutely awesome. So let me get my phone a second and download the app for you guys and show you it. This is a long video, but you guys have requested it, so I'm hopefully, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it. You open up the application here, and it says Ninebot. It's really, really cool, actually. So as you can see here, we are in the application. It's found it, it's connected to it, the Bluetooth icon is stable. So let me just step on the Ninebot now and show you guys what it's going to say. There we go, I'm on it. And then it has my current speed and the which way I'm heading. So if I turn here, it's going to say which way I'm heading. And as you can see, it has my speed. So if I go forward, it's going to put my speed up. Go back, it's going to put my speed up. And that's your speedometer. And it has your battery life. And if also if you swipe up, which is really cool, you can see like your total like, amount of things, you, how many miles you've gone, and blah de blah blah which is absolutely awesome. And you can, can compare it to other people that own these Ninebot things. You can also do it remotely. So if you can press this, press this in the bottom corner, you can actually remote control this thing here. If it's going to work. There you go, look. So you can actually remotely control it like this, which is absolutely awesome. Um, you can't do that whilst you're stood on it, by the way. That's only for if you're not on it. Um, I don't know what that feature's for. But yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. You can put it in like a beginner mode and stuff, and you can go in the settings and, and, and change all the... Let me show you guys. Go in the settings, you can change all the LEDs, set, like the light settings, and change all the colours of these LEDs on the back. And yeah, that's the Ninebot. It's absolutely awesome. And that is a bit more of a behind-the-scenes, in-depth look at this thing. Now, I'll drop a link in the description to where you can buy them. Um, but yeah, I think it's really cool. It's super fast as well. I'm going to be doing a video on the main channel. It's probably up by the time you guys see this video, actually. This is a bit like behind the scenes of what this thing actually um, is. But yeah, that's it. That is her, and she is absolutely awesome. I think she's really, really cool. I'm trying to like really, really take care of it, because obviously these Swagway things are getting absolutely smashed. But this... I'm going to try and take care of it because I think, I don't know, I really, really, really like it. And the application is really, really cool. So yeah, that is, that is this thing. It is really, really cool. And I'm so, so stoked to make some more videos on it for the main channel for you guys. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy that. Um, but yeah, for now, we're currently, uh, I think we've gone over 12 o'clock now. So uh, it's a new day and I need to go because I want to go and get some sleep and wake up in the morning and start recording a new fresh vlog for you guys. 
um, and I'm going to update you guys on the new camera that I'm going to get. Um, and if you guys have got any recommendations on cameras that are Wi-Fi and that can transfer to iPads and stuff so I can edit on my iPad or my iPhone, let me know. Uh, I want it to be like really good quality 1080p if that's, if that's good. You know what I mean? If that's, you know, ten, I want it to be good quality pretty much for you guys. Nice wide lens. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. My name's Ben Alex. You guys have been awesome. And I'll see you in my next video.